For those who don't know, the changes to Trials of Osiris are coming this week. With the introduction of the new changes to Trials also comes Trials Labs. Trials Labs will be testing out the new matchmaking system Bungie will be implemented for Season 21. We'll see this new system during Week 8 and 11 of Season 20 and it will go completely live in Season 21. Technically, April 18th, 2023 will be the start of Week 8, but the matchmaking system won't go live until Friday, April 21st when Trials is released again after reset. In short, the Flawless Pool is going away and it will be replaced with two other quote unquote soft pools. One is called the Challenger Pool and the other is called the Practice Pool. The Challenger Pool is where most of the hardcore parkour Trials players will be after their first win. These players go flawless on a week by week basis. This is also the closest to D1 Trials without the annoyance of matches getting harder with each win on a ticket or after you've been flawless. The Challenger Pool will be matched solely on connection and nothing else. And most likely this will be the host's connection. Individual players and or teammates with no losses will be put in the Challenger Pool. The practice pool is more for those players who are new to Trials or those less experienced with Trials of Osiris. This pool is a place for those players to quote, dip their toes into Trials without being thrown straight into the deep end, end quote. I mean, Bungie's already given them a life jacket and a buoy wrapped around their waist, so I say, toss them in and let the Kraken have them. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But. The practice pool will match players on connection as well as their weekly performance and this will reset each week. Again, most likely this will be the host's connection. Only players with a flawed card and that means the entire team or players on their first game will be able to play in the practice pool. So essentially, everybody will start in the practice pool and then after your first win, you will be moved to the challenger pool. If only one person has a flawed card and your teammates do not, then you will still be in the challenger pool. Additionally, the practice pool also has stomp and farming protection. Stomp protection will give you slightly easier matches if you are struggling and it will reduce your performance rating until you actually recover. Farming protection is a system that if it detects that you or your teammates are trying to farm the practice pool, it will slow down matchmaking times at first. And if you continue to try to farm it, it will lock you in the challenger pool for the rest of the week, regardless how many wins or losses you have on your card. In conjunction with the challenger pool and the practice pool, there will also be updates to the passage of wealth and mercy, but those updates will not go live until season 21. That will also be the start of the new introductory quest when the new trials emblem is released. And I hope and pray that it is an exotic emblem, but it probably won't be and changes to the new Gilded Flawless Triumph. Truthfully, I'm not sure how I feel about these new quote unquote pools when it comes to Trials as a competitive game mode in Destiny 2. Now that Bungie is doing away with allowing people to use third party devices like Zim 4 or Cronus, we will see a lot less cheaters on our hands. Not to say that people who cheat won't still be lurking about and most likely they will. Wait. Why do people even cheat in such an easy non-esports game? I mean, that doesn't mean it's okay to cheat in an esports game either, but well, you understand what I'm saying. Regardless, when there is a will, there is a way and someone will always try to find a way to cheat on purpose in order to abuse the system and they will get away with it until it's actually patched. Now, while I do think some changes to trials should happen, like removing the radar because people crush on it way too much or matchmaking against the same teams that just wipe the floor with you directly after playing them. Like, I'm pretty sure when you're playing trials, you aren't the only people playing trials in the world at that same time. We should not be match made with the same people that just destroyed us the very next match. However, I don't think that removing the flawless pool should have been one of those changes. It's extremely hard for players that aren't playing PVP all the time or who aren't good at PVP to go flawless. The flawless pool literally saved them and allowed people to go flawless either solo or in a group. Now, it seems like every time you go into trials with a group of three, 
you get destroyed by tryhards. Or if you queue in solo, you get stuck with two blueberries who run around like a chicken with their head cut off. Queuing as a duo seems to be like the sweet spot for trials, or at least that's what I noticed these past few weeks. On another note, when it comes to trials, I'm actually finding out that a lot of people don't know how the adept weapons actually work. So let me go ahead and explain it real quick. You get a trials card from Saint-14 in the tower hangar, and then you go flawless after seven wins. You head to the lighthouse and get your rewards. After you get your rewards, you can actually hold on to that same card and every win after has a chance to get another adept weapon that is the adept weapon for that week. Then at the end of trials, I would say at least 10 minutes before reset on Tuesday, go back to Saint 14 and turn in your car for one last adept weapon for the week. I know a lot of people already knew that, but I literally just ran into like four people this past week that has been flawless and didn't know that at all. What all of them did is they went flawless, got their rewards and reset their card to get another adept weapon from the lighthouse. So I hope you guys aren't doing that as well, or if you were, aren't doing that anymore. Anyway, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how the new matchmaking system as well as both the soft pools will work later on this week in trials. So far, I personally am not a fan, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys think the new system will be better or worse for trials in the future. And that my friends brings us to the end. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.